Okay guys, so first I'm going to add some moisturiser to the face because I do this before applying any special effects makeup because it usually irritates my face and leaves red marks. So I'm just going to add that to my face and rub it all in. Um, any products that I am using, I'm not going to mention under the video, they will all be linked below if anybody would like to know what I'm using. They're usually all cheap products anyway. Next, I'm going to use some Demo Wax, which is very difficult to handle in my opinion. Um, I find using makeup remover helps to stop it from sticking to everything when I'm shaping it to my face. So I will put some makeup remover on the tips of my fingers and also on the spatula that I'm using just to stop it from sticking when applying. You're going to want quite a small piece of wax um, and then you're just going to roll that together to get rid of all the hard parts and to make it nice and soft and warm and ready to apply to the face. Once applied to the face, I'm just going to use the edges of the wax and smooth them out across the face. Um, sometimes this will get sticky and stick to your fingers, this is why I, I think using makeup really, really helps with that, putting it towards the ends of your fingers and on the spatula just to help blend it out a lot more easier. And I'm doing exactly the same method with the bigger pieces that are on my cheek, um, just blending them out with the edge and using makeup remover when needed to blend it out easier. Now I'm just going to whack a load of setting powder onto my face uh, because the wax is very very sticky and tacky and as you can see all my hair sticks to it and it's not very nice so I'm just going to stick loads on there to help dry it out for now. And whilst we're waiting for that to absorb I'm going to do my eyes so I'm just going to take the lightest colour in my palette and put it all over my eyelids. Um, I'm then just going to use a blending brush with nothing on just to blend it out and make it look a lot more natural. Going in with a darker colour, I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the outer corners of my eyes and again with the blending brush, I'm just going to blend it all together um, and make it look a lot more natural. I'm then going to take a smaller brush and go in with a darker colour um, under the eyes just to make it look a, kind of a little bit red, dark, light bags. Um, I'm just going to put that all under the lower lash line and then I'm going to take the blending brush again and blend it out so it's a bit more seamless. And then I'm just going to brush off all the excess powder and put on some foundation. Now, although we are looking like a thing from Fantastic Four, do not worry, once you have put the scars in the wax, you will not see all those little lines, and it will be a lot more seamless. I'm then going to whack a load more setting powder on the face just to absorb the foundation. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Now, I do have a reference picture here with me, and her eyebrows are very, very natural, so I'm just going to fill them in the best that I can uh, without making them look too drawn on. And once we get to this, the front pieces of the eyebrows, I'm just going to add some lines upwards and blend them out with the brush to make it look as seamless as possible. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of um, mascara to the top lashes and then the tiniest amount to the bottom lashes. Um, still a very natural look but we still want it to be seen. 
then again, just going to get rid of all the excess powder. Now with the makeup remover on the sharp part of the spatula, I'm just going to start engraving it in the scar. Um, again, I am using a picture off Google, um, so it can tell up to you where you want to mark your scars. Um, but I am using a reference picture and I'm just going to put them all in and speed it up because this is a long, boring process. Just to add as well, this is so long because I've got to keep adding makeup remover to the spatula and to my fingers uh, because as I'm putting it into the wax, it is getting stuck and pulling it away from my face, uh, which again, also the makeup remover really does help in this process. going back in again with my trusty friend the setting powder uh, because since opening it up it's still quite tacky I'm just gonna stop that from happening Uh, now I'm just using, um, it's actually a bruise palette, but I'm going to go in with the red colour and go in very slightly in the lines that I've just made. I don't want to go too much because I don't want it to look like it is bleeding. Um, I just want it to be seen a bit more defined so that you know you can actually see a bit of skin underneath. Uh, so I'm just going to go through all the lines that I've just made with a little brush um, and fill them in so you can see the scar a bit more. Now I'm just cleaning my lips with some more makeup remover because since doing the setting powder and the wax it's kind of got a little bit on my lips. So I'm going to rub all of that off and I'm then going to use a lip stain which is really good. I really like using this because I just put it in the centre of my lips and it kind of looks very natural and like the blood is rushed to the centre of the lips. Um, so which is still quite tacky once you apply it so after a few seconds um, it does dry off. So once it is dry, I'm just going to use this clear, which is really, really cute. I got this off eBay. It's got a little flower inside. Um, it's disgusting. It tastes like soap, but um, it has a nice pink gloss to it. Um, quite natural. So I'm just going to apply that and smudge it all together. And the look is finished, guys. Pretty simple. Um, got to brush the wax out of the hair, which is disgusting. Um, although the hair is very tatty anyway. So a little play with the hair and that's all from me. Um, hope you enjoyed the videos guys. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments. And thank you very much for watching.